Purse-Red Spider is like a little miniature tarantula, about an inch long, the large ones maybe a little more than that, but they're very stout little tarantulas. If you, typical tarantula has long hairy legs, this is not a hairy spider. It's a very compact animal because it runs up and down in burrows in a silk tube. It doesn't need long legs for that, in fact they would get in the way. And these guys parachute. Who does all of that? Who, who travels like that? Well. Evidently, this guy does. So if we can bring them up and then block them once they're up above the ground, then we can just coax them and they will pop out. Uh, this project today is about finding the tubes uh, coming out of the ground and tickling them. Tickling the tube with a piece of grass or bark or string or cotton. I brought several different things. And we want to see if we can bring the spider up in their tube because they spend most of their time below the ground. Studying the spiders in particular is just to see how they live. Unbelievably, they live in a web that's stuck to the bottom of a tree um, and doesn't look like a typical web. Yeah, I just saw a fang go back in and out. My favorite part of studying these animals is watching them catch a bug and how they take and bring it into the into their net, their web. And now Ooh. the spider is repositioning wow. the bug. Wow! Oh yeah, that's a fascinating. These purse web uh, spiders are very unique in its habitat, in the way it hunts, in the way it lives. All creatures can teach us different parts of how nature is about, you know, that we're only part of it. And this creature has created this tunnel system that it survives. It comes out to hunt. It lays its eggs. It's its whole life there. And that's what makes it special. <laughs>